Welcome all. In this session, I am going to show you one of the useful tools for software testers. That is Colorzilla Chrome add-on. So what exactly is this tool and how it can be useful for the software testers? Let me explain. As software testers, we need to verify a lot of different aspects of the application under test. Let's say there's an application here. And let's say you got the business requirements where it is specified that this menu bar should have some color. Okay. In the business requirements given by the client, it specified clearly that this menu bar should have a proper color. Okay. That color is specified in the business requirements. Now to check whether this menu bar has the same color that is specified in the business requirements, what we have to do is how to verify or test this one how to verify or test the color of this menu bar and see whether this color is matching with the color that is mentioned in the business requirements, how to do that. For that guys, we need to install an add-on and the name of the add-on is Colorzilla guys. So how to install that Colorzilla add-on and uh, check or verify the color of this menu bar. So go to the Google Chrome, okay? Chrome browser guys, go to the Chrome browser and uh, search for something like uh, color Zilla. Enter. So here, this is the website of the Colorzilla. Rather than going to the website, I'll scroll down a bit. Uh, I'll see this Colorzilla from chrome.google.com. I'll click on this link. You'll be taken to the Google Chrome web store of this Colorzilla page. Now you see an option like add to Chrome. Click on that. You'll get this dialog. Click on add extension. You see now Colorzilla will be installed and added to your Chrome browser. It's already installed and added guys, but it's not showing here. To get it displayed, click on this extensions and say pin. Now you can see this Colorzilla add-on option displayed directly on the browser. Fine, after installing it and pinning it, just uh, close the browser and open it again and go to the application. Now we need to find out the color of this menu bar and see whether this color is matching with the color that is specified in the business requirements. For that guys, click on this add-on. And uh, the first option you have to select page color picker active. So once you select that option, you see your cursor got converted into the plus symbol, right? As you can see, I'm moving my cursor. It's got converted to the plus symbol. Take your cursor to a point of the, okay, of the UI element that is menu bar, background color. You see this blue color place I'm select, uh, I'm just taking my mouse cursor to and clicking. When I click it, you see some message got displayed. That's fine. Again, click on this uh, add on. Now copy to clipboard. Just say copy to clipboard. Paste it. Okay, control V. Control V or paste it in the new tab. You see, this is the color code of this particular menu bar. Just search for this color code, guys, in the Google. You'll get all the details. This is the color of this uh, menu bar. So what is the name of this color? In the Google, when you search for this uh, color code, when you scroll down a bit, somewhere here, you see 219966, right? This is the color of this uh, menu bar. The name of the color is Peloros, Peloros color. Okay, like similarly, we can also find out the color of another thing. Uh, what we can do is uh, we can find out this color, guys, okay? This black kind of color. So again, click on this. Again, select the same option. Your cursor, uh, cursor got converted into place symbol. Go to this area. Select it, it got a color copy to clipboard. Click on this, copy to clipboard. Okay, this is a color, right? Copy to clipboard, paste it here and press enter. So this was the color guys of this particular button. Scroll down a bit in the Google search results uh, to find out the name of the color. So the color code is 232323. The color name is Neuro. Okay, like that a lot of colors are there guys. So to find out the colors, uh, if you just Google search, you'll get the name of the colors here. So if this color name and color code is matching of this particular uh, menu bar is matching with the color code that is specified in the business requirements, then you can pass it, right? Then that is fine. But if you see a different color of the menu bar from the color that is specified in the business requirements, you need to report a defect. Simple guys. So this is how guys uh, we can use this uh, Colorzilla Chrome add-on tool. And this is how it is useful for the software testers. Hope you like this session. Thank you guys.
see you bye